Hello, my name is Kwasia Nurlhawk. I am a senior at the University of New Orleans, and today I will be giving a three-minute presentation on Louisiana Governor Pickney Benton Stewart Hinchback. Pickney was born in 1836 in Macon, Georgia, to Eliza Stewart and Major William Pinchback, a white planter and Eliza's former master. Pickney was given a private education as his father wanted him to have an education equal to that of his white children. At the age of 11, Pickney's father died. Pickney's mother subsequently fled to the free state of Ohio to prevent family members from possibly enslaving them. Pickney dropped out of school and at the age of 12 began working on the river to support his family. Inspired by the Civil War, PBS moved to New Orleans in 1862. There he raised companies for the 1st Louisiana Native Guards Regiment. Due to his education, he became a commissioned officer, though this did not last long. In 1863, he resigned after being passed over twice for a promotion. In 1867, PBS married Emily Hawthorne, a free woman of color. They had six children and lived in a large New Orleans home. PBS soon became involved in politics. In 1867, he organized the Fourth Ward Republicans Club. In 1868, he was elected state senator and became the Senate president. In 1870, he co-founded a bi-weekly newspaper, The Louisianian. He became a lieutenant governor upon the death of the previous lieutenant governor in 1871, and he became governor in 1872 due to the suspension of the previous governor. From 1870 to 1877, Pinchback served on the Louisiana Board of Education. He, along with two other senators, were integral in founding Southern University in 1880. PBS Pinchback was able to assume governorship in a very racially fraught time. Though he did have a slight advantage due to his learning and military experience, by no means were the odds in his favor. Black men gained the right of suffrage in 1868. In that same year, Pinchback became a senator and later Senate president. Pinchback was a determined man with a mission, breaking barrier after barrier. His story is very inspiring and is one that deserves to be spotlighted and told.